At this moment, an investigation continues into what caused an ammonia leak at a warehouse in Loudoun County. That ended up sending dozens of people to the hospital. It happened at the Cuisine Solutions Warehouse in Sterling, and that's where we find our Jacqueline Quinn this morning. And Jacqueline, we have new information on how many were taken to the hospital in serious condition. Yeah, I just spoke with Loudon Fire about an hour ago and they did give me an update. They said 33 people were taken to the hospital. They even gave me a breakdown. They said five in serious condition and it looked like uh, that is life threatening conditions. And then they said 17 in serious but not life threatening condition and 11 that were minor. But yeah, more than 80 people were treated initially. This was called a mass casualty incident. In fact, this morning where we're looking right now, we can still see uh, security standing out here by the gate you see the cones up and they are making sure that only certain people get in in fact some workers out here uh, when they came to the scene they took an uber and then they found out that uh, there was no work today so they had to stay until they called another uber here at the cuisine solutions uh, company here it's a meal preparation company but this triggered a large presence last night from ambulances and fire engines and multiple agencies uh, out here in sterling so, you know, this is an industrial area by Broderick Drive and Moran Street. Now, Sky 9 captured video as this large scene was still unfolding here at the warehouse. Loud and Fire tells us now that, again, there were five people that were critical with uh, critical injuries that were respiratory related. 33 total taken to the hospital, about 50 checked out at the scene. So quite a number of people. Firefighters also explain that ammonia gas can cause burns in the eyes, throat. When inhaled, it can also cause skin irritation. What caused the leak? We don't know. That's unclear, but building maintenance staff were able to find and fix it this morning, uh, find and fix it yesterday. But this morning, things have not gone back to normal. Some workers were, again, turned away, some uh, just walking up to find out. And we spoke with others who traveled a great distance to deliver goods. Just the cuisine's production is closed. Just essential staff maintenance and uh, corporate managers are allowed to cover in the deck. Anybody not say canceled, but he come here in security set today morning shift not working. Your shift one? Yeah. It took about seven and a half, eight hours, um, roughly about 400, 500 miles um, out of Troy, Ohio. So I'm um, here in uh, Virginia and uh, <laughs> this is what I ran into. So I guess I have to call my dispatch and see what's going on. Now, we're told this issue did not pose any uh, threats to the public. And again, this has been repaired as to how many people still remain in the hospital. I'm still working to find out and reach back out to Loud and Fire. For now, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, really a scary situation there. Keep us posted on what we learned about the condition of those folks involved. Jacqueline, thank you. Meantime.